Hello there, it's me, Sari here again, and today I'm here with a scrap haul from Scrap Bruket. I've gotten quite a few dies, I must say, and also a fuse tool. Let me talk to you a little bit about that one in a second or two. I thought I'd just show you the things that I've got. I've placed several orders because one thing leads to another, as it is mostly with me. Here is a set of cross-stitched frames from Memory Box. And I ordered this one because I was thinking about making shaker cards and just doing the die cutting with a frame as it is completely. I'm thinking it's going to be easier if I want to stack up, let's say, 10 pieces of paper that I've die cut and glue them together. And it's always easier to have them in the, in the proper size from the get-go. And talking about those uh, shaker cards, this is something else that I got. It's from Spellbinders. It's a big die. Triple flip card, it's called. I'm not sure what it's meant to do. They actually got a sort of a pocket up there. I'm not sure if that one is going to be that one. But um, in my head, I was thinking that I, it's this is going to be the perfect die if I want to make square cards. And I really want them to be the same size, the frames. And then I'm just going to mount them on top of each other. So hopefully, I'll be making able to make something similar out of those. That's how I have started making now. And here's something else from Spellbinders. This one is called Glass Effects. And it's going to cut a really nice sort of a broken shattered glass thingy there. And I could see myself having lots of fun with that one. And I've got a set of uh, two reindeer, and you always have to think about it. In this case, they are mirror reversed. So the big one is going to point that way, and the small one in that way. And it's called Reindeer and Die Vintage. And it's Nelly's Choice Vintage there, figurative dies. Moving on to something else, I was thinking about shaker cards even with this one. I could see myself cutting it out of white and perhaps just colouring it in, in, in some alcohol pens or distress inks. Just piecing the puzzle bits, bits and pieces together and hopefully I'll be having some fun with this one. As a companion to the to the other the, uh, st dies that I got, I also got this from Festive Collection, Dear Family. And it's cre creative expressions that makes them actually. Sue Wilson is the leader there and then I couldn't resist I've, I've been looking at this for quite some time now I mean the edge there looks like a spider web and I was I was thinking that perhaps this one could be something nice to work with for the next Halloween and this giraffe really funny looking it's called a whimsical giraffe and it's from Cherry Lynn and I was really fascinated by that one so I was hoping to be able to make some funky whimsical cards with this one and as you can see it's going to point out die cut the small shapes out of that so you could either have it as it is or just put them back together in a, in a different color and I got some pine trees somehow I just felt like I didn't have any Christmas trees this one is called Nelly's Choice and there are Christmas trees in three different sizes here is something else. I was thinking shaker cards with this one as well. And uh, hopefully I can also see myself putting some gems or something in those circular bits there. So I'm hoping this one is going to be real nice. And just imagine die cutting this one out of funky film or something. It could be nice. And with this one I was also thinking about shaker cards. You could just have the opening open there and just have some baubles and certain things in that shaker card bit. And this is something that I've seen people using. I haven't tried it out myself, but I'm thinking that this could be nice as well. And who knows, I might even use this one with shaker cards. And this one is called Distressed Benson Corner. And just to finish this side off, I did actually get myself some papers from Precious Marieke. Spirit of Christmas. It's linen carton. And it has got some really nice texture to it. And I believe that there is two of each color in this set. So I've got two different sets, all with different Christmas colors. And I'm sorry I won't be able to film this properly, but it's going to be like it is right now. So talking about shaker cards, I've become quite fascinated with them. And just having realized that you could come off, get off really easily just by using a pocket, a photo sleeve or just a pocket for scrapbook layouts or something. And you could just cut that, cut, cut those out into smaller portions or pockets and just glue them in between layers on a card 
And in this case, I do like to combine different techniques. I mean, in, in my book, this is a sort of a clean and simple card, as well as a shaker card, as well as specially folded card, which in this case is called upright said fold card. And I do like this. The stamp comes from Wilda Stamps, and it's actually I who have designed it. But just let me go back to the fact that Fuse is the tool that you can use when you are creating your pockets and customizing the size of, of them. So Fuse, this is something I actually had, had a chance to borrow and try the Fuse out and I did have, I had placed an order on it so I just had a chance of trying it out on Tuesday. And so far what I did, I did use a glass cutting mat to cut that plastic bag and it was all right as long as I was doing sort of straight lines but when I was tracing a glass just to get that so, sort of circular shape there I did have to struggle the wheel didn't turn as it, as it would have been uh, as I would have expected so in this case I would recommend you to use chipboard or something similar as an underlay so you don't destroy your table or table surface work surface but Perhaps not glass as the best uh, underneath thingy there. So wish me luck when it comes to making Christmassy crafts with these and most of all shaker cards because I've become quite fascinated by them. So I'm going to sign off right now. Hope to see you soon again. Or oh, bye bye.